Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, March 4, 2024. I hope we are doing okay this morning and I hope that we will have a wonderful day. Our reading today, it comes to us from Hebrews chapter 2, reading verses 1 to 3. It says, Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first begun to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? Amen. We are thankful again for the word of God. Here we are given stern warning that we should take heed to the things that are spoken in the word of God. We should not let them just pass away, but we should what? Listen to them. As the saying goes, we must not let them go through one ear and come through the next. Because these things, they are going to be beneficial to us. We are warned that we must heed these things that we read in the word of god the instructions that are given there everything that is said in the word of god we must what listen to them and apply them where applicable and as needed they are necessary for us to live a god driven life as we exist in this world and so we are encouraged that we should not turn a blind eye to them now many mock these saints and many slight them one of those things that they slight is the second coming of christ many will tell you that we have been hearing this thing from before we were born if that make it even sense we grew up hearing people saying that jesus is coming soon and all know we can't see him come and so people put it out of sight out of mind and just say okay not coming anymore or they are lying but this is a mistake because what the bible says that he will come at a time when we think not it went as far as saying that he will come as a thief in the night things like these we must what pay keen attention to the prophecies that are written there especially in daniel and revelation that a lot of people either they don't understand or they slight or they think is a bag of noise they just think is you know the bible just talking about some beasts and some animals and all they don't understand and so they do not seek to gain the understanding that is needed to understand these messages and so when you don't know you live in ignorance of the thing and that can be dangerous it says that what these words that were spoken by the angels these messages that were given through the different messengers, the angels, the prophets, the patriarchs, and those existing in our time. Whoever is delivering the word of God as it's supposed to be delivered. And if they are being ignored, these words will come back to on us if we do not take heed. And they will bring with them reward. And so, what is the reward that you want? do you want eternal life or eternal damnation so for instance when the bible say you must not steal and you steal huh? you will be punished because when the cops catch you they will take you to jail true and that's just one of many examples when we destroy our bodies with different chemicals alcohol smoking and all of these things and we get cancer and all of these things from these things that we put in our bodies that are unhealthy we did not eat the warning the bible tells us that our body is the temple of god and we should not defile our temple do you understand so all of these messages that are there when we ignore them then we reap the reward and the consequences of not following after them and so how will we escape do you believe that when you and i do something wrong we will somehow escape the punishment whether now or eternal punishment 
No, we will not. Whatever we do in this life, be it good or bad, there will be a reward. There will be a reward and there will be consequences. And so if we want to be shown favor, then we must do what is right. We must follow the principles that are there, that are there to help guide us in the right direction, to help us make better choices, ultimately to make better choices, not only for this life, but also for eternity because we will not escape. There's no escaping. And so if we neglect so great a salvific message and our salvation given to us down through the times up until now, and it has been confirmed through many different messengers, a lot of these things, some of the prophet, prophecies, most of them has already been fulfilled then what more proof do you and I need? Let us not waste our time because there will come a time you and I would, is going to need back these opportunities that we are wasting away now and we won't be able to get them back. So let us take the word of God at his, its word. Let us believe it. This has nothing to do with the white man and the black man. This is the word of God. It doesn't matter who write it. These things did not come. No normal man cannot write these words. So it doesn't matter if the man was pink, black, white, purple, green or blue. Whoever they were, they were inspired to write it. And even if they had an evil intention about their purpose, God's purpose is greater because what? His word supersedes every word of man. Okay, so may we understand and seek to understand the messages in the word of God and seek to apply them to our lives so that we can be better, so that we can live better lives and so that we can prepare for a better life to come. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.